Greetings all, I'm Bill Vensel. This is Chords of Orion, and on this video, I want to tell you about five pieces of guitar gear that changed my life. <laughs> Let's get down to it. So if you're like me and you've been playing guitar for over half a century, how could that be? I'm only 29 years old. <laughs> you've probably been through a lot of gear. And if you're like me, there's probably certain pieces of gear that were inflection points in terms of how you think about guitar, how you play guitar, maybe how you record guitar, how you perform on the guitar. So I've got five pieces I want to show you. The first three are going to hail from the 1970s, mid to late 70s, when I was just getting started. Here's number one. Ugh, here we go. The Akai GX4000D reel-to-reel -reel tape deck. Now you might be thinking, Bill, how is this guitar gear? Well, obviously it's not, but this Akai tape deck was especially influential in my life. In the late 70s, I just started playing in a band, an old school prog rock band, and I convinced my bandmates that we needed to buy a reel-to-reel -reel tape deck to record our practices. What they didn't know is that I was also going to suggest that we use this tape deck patch it up to the effects loop on the mixing board and use it as a delay, a tape delay. So that's what we did. This is a three head tape deck. It has a separate record, playback, and erase head. And if you hook it up just right, you can record immediately whatever you pass through the tape deck and then immediately play it back through the outputs. And if you blend this in, in the case of a mixer in the effects loop, you can send signal from whatever channels you want and have this really cool sounding tape delay. So for years, this is what we used as our band tape delay. We didn't use rack mount units. We didn't use pedals. I actually didn't have a delay pedal until I was probably almost 30 years old because we used this deck and it sounded really cool. It taught me so much about two things. One is analog recording and two is delay, delay, delay. Yeah, I'm repeating myself, get it? So you've been listening to a little bit of one of my old band recordings and here's just a little bit of me playing a lead through the PA with this tape deck as a delay. So piece of gear number two that changed my life? Oh yeah, the Morley volume pedal. So back in the 70s, I was always enamored with Phil Keggy. If you're not familiar with him, check him out. He's a fabulous guitarist. And his use of volume control knobs on the guitar to create volume swells. Well, a little bit after that, I was introduced to Genesis, old school Genesis with Steve Hackett on guitar. and. He blew my mind with his soaring volume swell leads. So I had to figure out how to do that. So I, I learned from Guitar Player Magazine that he used a volume pedal. Well, I didn't have any money to buy a volume pedal, but I did have an old Maestro Wawa pedal. So I got out the soldering iron and rewired it as a volume pedal. And it was really cool. So I used that for a couple of years, even the very early years of the band I played in. But after a while, I realized, you know, I don't really like the tone change that it's uh, making to my guitar sound. So I started looking around and I eventually bought an old Chrome 70s Morley volume pedal. And that thing was a beast. It was huge, but it sounded fabulous. 
And ever since then, I have been a loyal customer of Morley in terms of their volume pedals. This is the little alligator, which unfortunately is not currently being made as of the posting of this video. But I've had a Morley little alligator now for probably close to 25 years, and they're just wonderful volume pedals. This, the idea of a volume pedal really changed the way I think about chords and lead lines on electric guitar. And in fact, if you ever watched me play live, you would see that my foot is almost always on the volume pedal, working the volume pedal up and down to control the envelope of the guitar tone. Here's a little sample. Piece of gear that changed my life number three from the old days, oh yeah, the Heat Sound Ebo. If you've ever seen any of my videos here on the channel, there's a good chance you've seen me using an Ebo. I use it all the time. My first Ebo was one of the 70s vintage chrome ones with a leather holster and the automatic on and off. I wish I still... I wish I still had it, but unfortunately it was stolen. But even the new ones are fabulous, and it really changed the way I play electric guitar, in particular ambient guitar, using the Ebo for violin-like lines, or maybe even clarinet or flute or oboe-like lines, combining them with delays and reverbs. Oh yeah, I love it. This has really changed my life as a guitar player, and here's a little sample. piece of gear that changed my life number four, the Yamaha UD Stomp. And there's a couple of you, I already know you're going to comment, so please do. I love it as much as you do. This delay pedal changed everything for me. It has eight delay lines that can be configured and connected either in serial or series or in parallel or any combination. Also, there's a set of coveted Alan Holdsworth presets on this device that I use over and over and over again. This pedal really taught me about what the possibilities are in terms of stacking and chaining delays together. Just that it's an endless world of ambient awesomeness in one pedal, but whether you use this pedal or a series of other pedals, oh man, stacking delays is where it's at. Here's a little sample of the UD Stomp. The fifth piece of gear that changed my guitar life is the Tacoma Thunderhawk Baritone. This was my first baritone guitar. You can see how big it is. It's a beast. 
Yeah, it's a fabulous guitar. I bought it used and I bought it, I bought the baritone because I had heard Don Ross, who's a fabulous finger stylist guitar, guitarist, playing baritone on a few of his pieces. And I thought, oh, that sounds amazing. I mean, I had already done some down tuning, but not down in the dungeon like you can get with a baritone guitar. So I found this used, bought it, and oh boy, it changed my perspective on playing guitar forever. I now own, I think, 12 different baritone guitars, both acoustic and electric. And it's really made me rethink a lot of things about playing guitar, in particular about chord voicings, uh, lead lines, uh, textures, and also pitch ranges. So, man, what a great thing. I love baritones. Here's a sample of me playing the Thunderhawk. Whether you've been playing guitar for five years or, like me, 50 plus years, I'm sure that there is gear that has really changed the way you view and play guitar. I'd love it if you would drop a comment below and let me know what those pieces of gear are. It would be great conversation for us to have together as a community. Here are some other videos for you to check out. And as always, I'll see you all over on those videos.